many in this audience ha have been subjected to uh, you know, years of censorship on this topic. Uh, what I want to talk to you today is about the DNA contamination that our team at Medicinal Genomics discovered in the mRNA vaccines. We're specifically speaking about Pfizer and Moderna in this case. Um, this work has been replicated by many labs around the world, uh, and now the FDA, the EMA, and even Health Canada uh, have admitted to this. Uh, the regulatory agents have admitted that Pfizer also omitted the SV40 sequences that are in their vaccine. Um, they've deemed this contamination to be of little consequence, claiming the DNA is of too little concentration to matter or to be containing DNA of no functional consequence. These statements are false and are not supported by any independent testing by these regulators. After the regulators have admitted to being deceived, they ask the opinion of the party that deceived them, how bad was the deception? They shockingly believe the answer they were given, uh, which is that these sequences have no relevance to plasma manufacturing. As someone who has worked on the Human Genome Project manufacturing millions of plasmids, I can assure you that this is an overt lie. DNA contamination can lead to insertional mutagenesis. This is actually declared in Moderna's own patents regarding mRNA vaccines. This is U.S. patent 10,898,574. Uh, 